Public Library, and I'm so excited to be here today. I'm here with my friend Pongo. Let's call her name. Say, Pongo. Hi, hi, friends. I'm Pongo. Hi, Pongo. Do you like soup on a cold day? Mmm, I love soup on a cold day. Do you think we can make soup from a nail? No. What? How? <laughs> Let's hear the story, Soup from a Nail, and find out. Okay! One evening, an old woman was sitting alone in her house. She heard a knock at the door. She opened it, and in came a ragged old beggar man. Where did you come from, and what do you want? I come from everywhere in the wide world, and now I'm on my way home. Could you please be so kind as to share a morsel of something to eat with me? How can I share with you when I haven't even any food for myself? Why, you poor creature, then I shall have to ask you to share my supper. He pulled a long iron nail from his pocket. I have used this many a time on my travels, but there should still be some magic left in it. A magic nail? Yes, for making soup. Would you be so kind as to fetch me a large kettle of water? The woman fetched the kettle, filled it with water, and put it on the fire. The beggar turned the nail round three times in his hand and dropped it into the water and began stirring slowly. Hmm, it could be quite weak, having been used so much lately. Yes, an onion would certainly help, huh, but we shall have to just do without. But then the old woman suddenly remembered where she had an onion tucked away, and soon it was in the pot. A wealthy man I stayed with last month insisted on putting some carrots and beets in the soup. But of course, that's not necessary for simple folk like us. Well, the woman searched and managed to find carrots and beets, which soon joined the onion rolling in the kettle. Of course, when I made this magic soup for the king, he insisted on some oatmeal for thickening and some salt and spices to taste. Though these things won't be necessary for simple folk like us. And the beggar smiled at the old woman and winked. No, no, I should like it to taste exactly as the king tasted it. And she brought out oatmeal, salt, and herbs and let them fall into the pot as the man stirred. When at last the soup was ready, the woman spread her best tablecloth on the table and brought out a bottle of wine. And when she tasted the soup, she declared that she could scarcely believe that it had been made from just one ordinary looking nail. The end. Do we have a magic nail to make soup? Hmm, maybe I do have a magic nail to make soup. Do you want to help me make soup for dinner tonight, Pongo? Yeah, yeah, can I add the magic nail? Sure, but we have to go back to the library now. Can you say goodbye to your friends, Pongo? Goodbye, friends, I get soup for dinner. <laughs> yes, you do. Goodbye, friends, and we'll see you at the library.